All right, people, welcome to Mindful Attraction 2.0. And today we're going to be talking about um, how this is my take on gold diggers. All right, because and actually I never talked about gold diggers before um, simply because there's other channels for it. But I was inspired to talk about gold diggers for some odd reason, right? So let's begin this, right? So you see, a lot of the things, you see, the one thing that's good about being a guy is that guys have more flexibility in this world. They're not judged as much. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of pointing fingers towards guys, right? So we have this an autonomous freedom to do whatever we want, and we're not going to be judged. You know, we could have sex with as many women, and we're not judged. Heck, we can even be a goddamn stripper, and we won't be judged as much. Um, but for some reason, women have are a they walk on the, they walk more on, on societal eggshells, right? Um, you guys can find a husband, but goddamn, you guys better not look for for guys just for money, right? Now look, usually the people who say this are insecure people. People who don't have what they want in life. People who are wor- who are just worried about other people's problems because they can't fix their own problems, right? So this is my take. You see, men and women are completely different in a sense that men have different priorities when it comes to picking a right partner. For men, what, what do men have? Men have a dick, right? Okay. Um, men have sperm and they have, and, and they are able to have, and they're able to give whatever the fuck they have and make kids with it, right? So what they look for a woman is someone who can incubate their kids pretty much at the end of the day. So they look for the looks. Are you, are you, are you, um, are you physically, perp- are you physically right to have a kid, right? And all of that isn't, isn't processing like in a conscious way. It's not like guys are like, oh, look at her hips. They're two thirds of the other side. So, you know, no, nah, it's more like an, of an emotional, it's more like a visceral reaction. Holy shit. For some reason, my dick wants her. My, my, I want, uh, my dick wants her for some reason. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's not a conscious choice. It's just a choice. It, it's just a reaction, Right. So with men, we don't really value, we don't need your goddamn money. We got money, man. You know, we're, we're, we're able to, we're, we, we, that programming was there for tribes, right? So we, 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 we hunted. We don't need to be provided for because we don't, we got the physical capabilities to, to hunt, right? In today's society, we don't need to hunt so women can also provide for themselves. Back then, though, women couldn't provide for themselves because they, it, it, it wasn't, the hierarchies weren't like that. You see, women stayed home. They took care of the kids. They, didn't, they couldn't work online. If they, if they wanted to have a kid, they needed to have a partner so that they could take care of the kid and the partner brings the food. Nowadays, it's a lot easier. So you could essentially take the role of both the men and the women. But the thing is, is that before a woman... Look for God, not just about their looks, but about can you provide for me? At the end of the day, the bottom line is can you provide for me, right? Can you provide for me at the end of the day? That, that's pretty much the whole point. And people, are don't, they don't like that because it makes, it, 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 it simplifies dating. It makes dating look like a Machiavellian type of thing. At the end of the day, that's what it is. You see, women look for a guy who has status, Women look for a guy who could provide. In other words, women look for a guy who has money. Simple as that. But the thing is this, though. This is a funny thing. Is that you can look for a guy who has money, but you're not. You're going to get tired of fucking him after a while because he's just your provider. Right? You got to let go of that sexual, that sexual energy somehow. Thank you, Miss Lynn, for the $10 donation. You, you, you got to let go of that energy somehow. Right? Because at the end of the day, if you fuck a guy just for his money, you're going to get tired of fucking him. I mean, every woman who has a, who's a gold digger knows that. So what do they do? They find an alpha male on the side. They find a guy who they can have sex with without them demanding anything from them. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's the thing is that my take on, 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 on gold diggers is that it's just human nature. You guys got to ignore people. And, and, and I know it's, it's hard it's, you know, to ignore people because the judgment comes from people who, who you care about. But... That's what it is, though. Like, it's human nature. Women go after the guy who has more status. Women want a guy. That's why you guys ask men, so what do you study? What do you do? Oh, wow. That's why when you go into his house, he has a nice place. And you're like, wow, I could really live here. I could really make myself comfortable here. Right? That's, we all want a guy. Not you. Not me. You all want a guy who could provide for you. That's gold digging, man. Simple as that. I mean, sure, just because you find a guy who makes 40000 a year, and to you, that's a lot. Right, but to other people, they're like, "Oh, she's just finding a provider, nah, bitch. Forty thousand a year is forty thousand a year. You're going for that money. 
Nothing wrong with that, right? But we get mad at women who go for the older guys, the guys who have the million dollars. Bitch, it's the same shit, just at a different scale. That's all what it is. Same shit, different scale. Simple as that. You see, the reason why a lot of women, let's say, you know why a lot of women are in like relationships that are bad for them, right? And they have kids with the guy, but yet the guy abuses them. The reason why she's there is because, and this is the, and look, I could be wrong, but the reason why she's there is because she provides for her and her kids. She provides for her and her kids. And she knows that if she leaves him, she's going to have to find, it's going to be hard to provide for the kids. So you might say, oh, is that gold digging or is that taking care of the kid? Maybe gold digging is a preparation for that. Maybe gold digging is just, I need to make sure you earn this much so that if I do have a kid with you, you can provide for me and the kid. Simple as that. Now, the, the problem, though, for the other guy, for the guy, is that just because, just because she's like a sugar da- um, baby, quote unquote, she's not going to fuck only you, bro. Simple as that. You giving her money. She might fuck you from time to time, but she, she's going to grow tired of you. So she's going to go fuck someone else. Someone on the side that nobody finds out. Because at the end of the day, women want to feel that, that desire for a guy. Women want a guy who they have to work for. But the problem is that if the guy's providing her money, the guy's providing her um, with, it, with incentives, you don't have to work for that guy. So the guy gets boring. You know? The guy gets boring. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's a, it's a catch-22 where if you want a guy to, if you want a guy who makes money and stuff like that, Sure, you can get him, but you're going to grow tired of him. You're going to grow tired of him. And you guys got there and well know what I'm talking about. You know, you're with a guy. He's perfect for you. He has a nice house. He wears that nice dressed up shirt. Your grandma says he's a good guy for you. Your whole goddamn family approves of him. But he doesn't, you don't, you don't like having sex with him. You know, like you like him, but you don't really feel that. You don't feel intense emotions from him. The dude down the block makes you feel better. The guy who doesn't want you makes you feel better. That's how it is. And the thing is, is that all you guys got to do is be good liars. Fucked up, right? Yeah, it's fucked up. Just don't do that shit to me. Trust me. I'll find out. But all you guys got to do is be good liars when it comes to that, you know? But I'm not recommending you guys to lie and none of that sort of stuff. But all I'm saying is that it's just human nature. Thank you, Dorothy, for the 199 donation. It's all human nature, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, let me see if there's any comments right now. Let's see if there's any comments. It really sucks. It generally sucks. But that's the reality of it, man. Let me see. Yeah, all women, I'm reading the comments, all women need money? Yeah, of course all women need money, man. Who doesn't need money, man? All right. All right, people, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Let me see. Alex, I have an online radio show. We just six million. Viewers with a show combined. If you're interested in joining me for a comedic relationship talk, hmm, possibly. Who knows? Let me screenshot that. All right. Um, all right, people. You guys have a great day, man. Let me see if there's any comments, anything that I need to read. Let me see. What, what, does, Sabrina, what does Sabrina say? No, when a man provides your love for him grows. You look at him as your man. You can't go back to the 50... 50- okay, look. Yeah, you love him. All right, Sabina. So they're saying that when a man provides you, you love him. All right, yeah, sure. You, you love you. You love him. But there is a difference between having love and that comfort feeling to having the other side, which is the excitement side. You know, we all crave that from time to time. When you feel like the guy has validated you, you get bored, man. Look, I, I, look man, you see, a lot of I, people who I, who I coach, I give them a warning. I definitely give people a warning, and this is the warning. You're going to apply my tactics. The guy's going to chase you, but because you know, but, and, and he's going to come back to you submitted, but because it was that easy for him to submit to you, you're going to lose interest. Simple as that. You're going to lose interest. Like, you get in the guy to like you with my tactics, but because it was so goddamn easy, you're going to lose interest. You don't believe me? I, I know goddamn well this has happened for you ladies too, you know? You, 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 you get him to like you. He likes you. For some reason, heck, you may even still like him, but something in you lost a little respect for him. Just a little bit. Not that much, but you kind of feel it. There's not as much anxiety. There's, there's not like, like, 
you're not, you don't, you're not thinking about him all the time if he likes you. You just know he likes you and you go about your day, right? But when he doesn't validate you as much, if you don't apply my tactics, you're going to end up thinking about him more. But if you apply my tactics, everything is going to look obvious. All of those games are going to disappear. And guess what? The fun has ended. You see, the problem is that women, unfortunately, it's kind of fucked up, but women function better when the guy's the lead. Women function better when the guy is leading them, you know? And if you take control of a relationship, sure, you might get control of the relationship, but you're going to get bored, man. Look, it's like, it's, like, it's like playing a video game, right? You can play a video game, but if it becomes too easy, you want to win, right? You want to win, but you don't want to win that easily, you want, you want a little bit of challenge, per se. You see what I'm saying? And so when you don't have that challenge, when you validate your guy, heck, you know, when you, when you validate your guy, guy, you know, when, he, when the guy validates you, you're going to lose interest after a while. It's simple as that. It's fucked up. I really wish it was different. It's different when you have kids, I imagine. I, um, I really wish it was different, but it is what it is. Women don't get bored when they get paid. <laughs> and with all the shopping and everything else, we can't do... I mean, of course, you're getting money. You're getting, look, you're getting comfort. Comfort is not the same as excitement. What you want is excitement. Excitement isn't comfortable. Think about that. When you're excited about something, you don't know whether or not it's going to happen. It just happens. You see what I'm saying? It just happens. All right, let me see if there's any comments. All right, it says, Alex, I love you, but man, with money are not doormats. And from my experience, they are challenging and very alpha unless you're there for the money only. I mean, look, yes, but I'm talking about providers. I'm talking about when you are in a relationship and, and you want a guy to, to, to provide for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I'm not saying, I'm not talking about ultra billionaires with, with, uh, who, who, got, who get pussy left and right. I'm talking about average dudes who have decent money, you know? And, and let's say he may even make, make six figures, you know, those kind of guys, those guys, you, it, once, once you know they have you once, you, know you, once you know that they're completely in love with you, a certain part of you loses a little bit of interest. It, it, it's just, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's human nature. All right. Anyways, people, <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I am definitely enjoying making this video. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and um, let me see, let me see if I forgot anything, uh, nah, I'm good, alright, y'all, be safe, man, take care, wait, what, was somebody, what, you guys are asking a question, what, Loudy, what do you gotta say, Loudy, what, nigga, shit, say it, alright, that's it, I'm out, people, I'm out, um, what if he looks another wait what if he looks another girl how do you call the approach man, go to my other channel how to call the approach man what are you asking me how to call the approach you could just go to the other channel and how to call the approach just go up my boyfriend is racist i i mean <laughs> nothing else. I, I almost dated a racist girl she was this i'm turkish girl and she hated asian people i didn't know that she was Asian. she was she was racist um we would go to chinatown and she was like fuck someone's was like asian i'm like holy shit you know, I'm like, this chick is crazy. And then I look down and look at that ass. I'm like, my thing is like that. Mm -mm, she's not crazy, bro. <laughs> you know, like, it, there's a few things that, that will forget racism. And that's, 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 that's a nice, you know. <laughs> All right, people, I'm out, man. Take care, man. Be safe.